Today what I'm making, potato leek soup. So we got some rust potatoes, thick cut. I wanna make sure there's some substance and some texture in there. Shallots, of course your leeks. Giant, giant leeks. We're doing that with butter. Whole milk. And then we're gonna be doing a salad on the side which is gonna consist of romaine, tomatoes, sunflower seeds, tofu, and some fennel root. The fennel root's a little different than what people might look at cooking, but it adds a real crispness and a vibrancy to the whole program. So we're going to get going on these things, and we'll see you in a few minutes. So cutting off the top of the, the giant leek. you got to pay attention to leeks when you cut them up. If you've been in a really wet dry the climate, they're going to have a lot more dirt in there. So it's drained recently or something like that. You'll find them, and they get pretty darn messy. These ones are pretty clean, so we're going to take all three of these wonderful fellas. I'm going to slice down the middle. Remove any browned brown or limp sections. I'll save a lot of this extra stuff on the side to make a stock later, so everything works out well there. So we'll get to use multiple pieces. So you know, you'll notice these are a little... Limp and lifeless, little brown. Take those suckers off, put them off to the side. I already gave these guys a quick little little bath, so they're okay. So, dirt never hurt anybody. shapes and sizes okay you don't have to have them all be perfectly uniform we're making cooking fun and we're trying to make things that you can eat so without having to worry about all this chopping stuff you could pretty much be okay with a nice rough chop to it especially when the green onion gets a little squirrely on you and starts bouncing all over the place as we just showed so get this little sucker turned over here Tips on how not to cry while cutting an onion. You have cold water over the onion or breathe through your mouth. Breathing through your mouth eliminates the stuff going up your nose and drawing more of that stuff up your face. So do that. So right now we're sauteing the yellow onions and the shallots together. Getting that party started in here, so. So add some salt to it. A little salt and pepper. Don't even need pepper really because you're gonna need a white pepper, but why not? Usually at this time I'm trying to keep from cascading potatoes all over the floor because there's not enough room on my cutting board. So you notice we're getting a thicker chop cup off that. That way your potatoes can have some substance when you have it in the spoon. So our russets are all cut up. That's three whole taters there. Or potato. Sorry, I call them taters, potatoes. Come on! Darn slippery skins on the green onion, or the, the leeks. Pretty much a leek is a gigantic green onion. Huge green onion. But they're, they're so good, they're kind of fresh and crisp. 
Mm. Here's back some pepper. Just like a big green onion. Oh. So into the pot goes all these nice, wonderful, cut up little leekies. I love that leekies. Good to go. So you see all this start to break down a little bit. All oh, everybody's gonna get into the party here. So we start off with a half onion. We start off with a full shallot. Get everybody partying in the pool here. So we're good there. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna add my white pepper. I'm gonna do like a half, uh, about a two teaspoons and let's actually make it yeah teaspoon and a half get in there you're gonna get a lot of spice out of this right off the get-go so you got to be careful you don't want to get through white paper is probably pretty hot for everything we got going on here so let's just keep stirring everybody in here I'm gonna start cooking that and I'm gonna I'm gonna get going on the salad here in a few minutes so just give me a minute and we'll get back on Try to keep these pretty thin. They're gonna combine in the salad pretty good and don't wanna have huge chunks of this. It is fresh and tasty, but sometimes for me, a little dominant. It's a late Christmas freshness. It's almost got a little black licorice taste to it. Don't think black licorice comes from this, but it does have that flavor. Here, Heather, open. <clears throat> Gotta feed the staff once in a while. Because usually once the video is done, all anybody wants to do is eat, and then they're actually not productive at all. <laughs> I'm commonly what's known as a stinker. All right. Into the bowl. Uh, ever seen anybody so excited over a salad spinner in my entire life? Went to Ikea, got trapped in that place for two days. Brought home a present for the house to use for cooking. A salad spinner. And thought I'd gotten her a diamond engagement ring or something. Oh my god, it's a salad spinner! Oh my god, it! Sometimes you gotta groom your roaming. It gets a little wild, it's gets a little hairy. Keep it down. All of the lettuce going in the bowl. Tossed with some seeds and tofu. Oh, what do you know? Yeah, <clears throat> no career in singing ever. But the easy way to cut romaine start at the top, go through the middle, flip, go through the tops again. Now we're getting the Yeah, Josh was at work or on a date or goofing off me. I think we gotta fire him. My uh, prep cook is not here today. Josh was at work doing his thing like a chicken wing. So Seeing as it was pretty basic today, I wouldn't really have any worries about it. All of our lettuce is washed. It looks wonderfully clean. So our prep good, Joshua. We miss you, sort of, kind of. A little bit, maybe. Try to convince Paige to come over, but she wouldn't have it. So this is your fennel. It's so good. So I'm going to take these little parts off of here. Little fronds on here. They can be used as far as soups and things like that. So I'm going to keep these for later. So I'm gonna make a nice vegetable base and maybe another soup. Crack, crack, sizzle, pop, pop. So now that we're getting all those flavors combined in there. I'm gonna add the milk. Now you'll either have to make a roux 
in here to thicken it up, but a lot of the times it's going to be covered with a starch. I've melted in cheese in here before and kind of to create a thickening agent, so Parmesan or whatever you feel like doing. If you've got your go-to, then you can go to and use it. So probably gonna have to put about another half of a half of a half gallon or a quarter gallon. Got another tablespoon of salt in there. Yeah, I know it sounds like a lot of salt, but we've got a lot of sweetness going on here. And then just taste the soup as it's going along. Remember what I said before. You can always add more. You can't always take it out. If you end up getting a soup that you bring to a boil, you notice it separates. So your fats and liquids separate. So the fattier parts of the milk and the watery parts will separate. Looks like uh, cottage cheese, but soupier. All you do is take some cold soup. Or all you take is some cold milk, cold cream or whatever you have there. Pour it in there, re-stir it up. Nine times out of ten, it'll actually re-bring it back together again. Stick me, I'm learning stuff. Off the vine. I just love the smell of the tomato smell. Dicing tomatoes for the salad. Just want to let you know. Off chop. Couple of tomatoes to do it all up right. Oh yeah, taters. Tomatoes, potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Whatever you got. Right. Couple of tomatoes up there. Get our toe jam ready to go. You can go big or as small as you want with tofu. It's just up to you. I didn't start eating this till a few years ago. But I do like the soy sausage and then some other bean curd dishes my brother and my ex sister in law used to make for me. It's supposed to be extra firm, kind of seems like it's empty limb. Cube it! Odie, you want some tofu? Let's see what Odie says. Odie, tofu. See it? Show me pretty boy. Oh. Pretty boy tofu. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty boy. Yes, good job. High fives. Good, good, good. Yes, we'll give you five. That's a good boy. Boiling, boil, boiling trouble. Hold on, hold on, and string the vis. Hey, best part about it is if you do this in cold, it's a vichy swaz. I think. It is! <laughs> you serve it cold, it becomes the vichy swaz. Cold or hot, it's still the vichy swaz. Maybe differently than mine, but... Mmm, taters and leeks, white pepper, and cow milk. Moo! Moo! Hold on! Back up! You remember the rule, not in the kitchen unless invited. Or if you need to go outside, go potty. I really have no idea why I keep doing this, because technically it's a soup and it's doing its own thing. So, we're going to have to make a roux. As soon as I have a sifter, I'm going to start using this sucker. Let's sift your flour in there so you don't have a lot of clumps going in there. This is an old school sifter. Boom chocolate. Watch this stuff. You don't want to brown it too much and burn it up. Then just mix it all in together. Keep the stove on low, and you get all your butter together here, and mix it all up. You know, it's still consistent, and keep that rolling. You can add a little more flour. Poof, poof. 
same thing with the same thing I say multiple times. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. Just watch with your roux. Add a little bit, stir it into your pot and your soup. Wait for it to go. Probably should move this to the outside burner to make it easier for Heather to do the video, but oh well. Live and learn. A lot of roux will go, a little bit of roux will go a long way. Whee! Then I get in trouble for making a mess. Wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last. Now that our soup's pretty much done, one thing I do is I will take some of my cream or milk. Obviously a little leak hanging out there. Oh no, don't take me away. I don't know why I keep doing these voices, but it's getting weirder. So now that I got that in there, you stir this stuff into the roux so that we incorporate. In my opinion, incorporates a little faster, a little easier, but everybody, different strokes for different folks. So we got a nice roux here. So turn off that stove, burn all the hair off my arm. So I don't want to cook this too much. It's basically butter and flour. Flour for cooking stuff. Then. Butter is good with anything. It's easy way to get it out of the middle of the whiskey thingy. Oh, there's a skip. Get out of there. Everybody get back in the pool. Okay, get that done. So we'll take it in little pieces. So it took about half of that. Get it in there, and then we're gonna start stirring her in. There's a pirate or a wizard. I'm making things thick. It's a sorcery book, I man. So let's just get all that stirred in here. It'll get all broken up in here and then little parts of the cream and that flour, roux, sugar, and start to make the pot a little creamier. So all we're doing is making the soup a little thicker. Making this a Wonderful little pool of fun goodness. So give this a chance to set up. You can always add milk to it if you make it too thick. This is going to take a little time, so we're going to let it sit and keep going for a little bit. Turn my heat up. And ole. I just adore potato leaf soup. It's just so wonderful. It's totally just a winter. I, we're gonna. I'm gonna have to end up making my uh, part of my two dishes, one pot, the ginger beef or ginger pork, and stew it all up. Then make a stew or a, what we used to call back in the day, cold chaser soup. Oh, this is thickening up so nicely. Happy, happy. We're making it happy for them. Makes me almost gonna cry. Boy, that bubble, boy, in trouble. Eye of Newt. Tails of lizards. Chicken lips. <laughs> All right, that's done. Let's not let this poor little pieces of rube go to waste. Go in there, Rui. Boo! Scared you. Ah. All right, soup's gonna sit for a little bit and go. So we're gonna plate these up and then the uh, next thing you'll see is chowing down. Thank you. So here we have plated up. Heather got her druthers tonight. So you wanna zoom in on, this is the Japanese fine china. And uh, come in real close so you can see all the little details. So Heather wanted to use the china finally, so we broke down and used the china. So here it is, chickadee china, Chinese chicken made in Japan. So we've got an artesian roll heated up. We're going to put some butter on that. Here's our salad and our potato leek soup. Mmm. Great pepper flavor, the leaves. Mm. 
All right, Heather, here you go. Food. I'm going to keep doing these and keep having fun. So join me in. Look forward to subscribe to my YouTube. If you have any questions on recipes on how to cook anything, just let me know. I'm more than willing to share. I'm more than willing to help.